Here we go. Hello, you on the other side of the screen. It's your boy, Jonathan Laddermill, owner of Smart Shark, and I got my business partner with the FitPro Collective, Mark, the fitness ninja, Salmanoff. That is I. Woo. That's his middle name, the fitness yeah. ninja. It's on my birth certificate, actually. You got it legally changed. They it's knew awesome. a long time ago. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so well, today, we got a special guest live and direct from Rochester, New York. Woo-woo. Our man, Justin Justin. Arnold. What's up, buddy? Okay, so we're just going to dive right into this, man. So Justin, um, Justin's a good dude, by the way. If y'all don't know that, like, Justin's a good human being. And uh, thanks, fellas. He's like, he's like my, my brother from another mother, but he lives way up where it's cold. Yeah, we're trying to get him to move here. We're working on it. <laughs> yeah. Wife into it. Yeah. We'll work. Okay. We'll start working on her. Uh, yeah. So, so tell us, obviously we said your name, but you can introduce yourself where you are in the world and your business structure currently. Yes. Yeah, so Justin Arnold, I am 39. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> no, uh, so I'm in Rochester, New York. I've been in the fitness game for over 15 plus years. I have three children, 11, uh, eight, and five and i think that's important for those that are parents and busy i'm very active in their lives i'm married my wife is a morning anchor for the news affiliate here and uh yeah i run a training facility here in rochester it's about 2600 square feet and while there are groups ours is more personal training uh especially uh, we work with a lot of people uh, you know everybody from athletes to weight loss and from age five to age 100 but our main niche is people with pain so people dealing with you know pre-surgery post-surgery you know think post-physical therapy uh like some of the current clients that we have are people that back injuries knee injuries bone on bone hip uh people walking with a cane no longer walk with a cane so that's kind of our 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 specialty uh, and prior to running a business, what I've been doing for a little over five years now, I was working in the profit and nonprofit center. Uh, the most recent prior to Flex MP was the YMCA, where I was the lead trainer was my last role. So that that answers your question. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, I you mentioned your kids. Like, I really do commend you for keeping your family and your children a priority because we all know how hard it is when you run your own show. And it's so easy to just work nonstop and, and neglect so many other areas of your life from your own personal fitness. You know, how many, how many trainers do we know they're out of shape because they don't take care of themselves anymore. So, you know, again, I, I commend you for that. Yeah. I think you and I are really good about scheduling the workouts, scheduling family time and just having that balance. And we see everything become more successful when you have that, when your focus isn't all heavy on one end. So yeah, for sure. So, so tell our audience, like what drew you into working with John and I, and you work with us in a little different capacity than, than some of yeah. our clients, but just kind of talk about that process and, and what made you really take the, take the dive in. Well, some might say the stunning good looks with me. Uh, no, seriously. Uh, there's so much, there's so much noise out there. There's so many gurus, coaches, I mean, I don't, I don't know who's listening to this, but I'm sure if you're like me, you hit up, you get hit up, if not daily, at least weekly, and by some people that might have just popped out of a diaper. I am not <laughs> about that. And what I liked about them is just the genuineness, the realness, and they are with you along the journey the whole time, and they are there if you need them at any moment, and your success is their success. Like, they want to see you successful it doesn't even feel like a transaction of any kind. It just feels like, Hey, we got new friends and they're, they're invested as much. And it's, it's the kind of accountability friends that check you and hold you accountable. Uh, not just the ones that make you feel warm and fuzzy. They have those moments, but you know, they're the people that are there to, like I said, I need that. I need that tough love uh, for a way to express them. And so, uh, that, that in itself is what, you know, just having good conversations and genuine and not trying to just sell me. Uh, I never felt that at all. And I just, two good dudes that want to help me and, uh, provide a quality service. So that's way deeper than just business. Yeah. Love you, buddy. Love yeah. you too. 
Yeah, <laughs> it's a big bro fest going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> bro needs. So, uh, and we appreciate that, man. You know, you're, you're such a pleasure to work with. And, you know, if we could have 40 of you, we would. Um, so, so in your relationship with both of us and working with us, what has been your experience? What type of growth have you seen um, really in any area of business or otherwise? Uh, definitely like in all aspects, definitely in business. I think for me, you know, everybody's different. And for me, I, I knew where my, I didn't need to be a better trainer. Like we all can get better. I'm not saying I'm done learning, but like we always continue educating, but like with me, it was the organization and uh, the back office, you know, the more business side of things, you know, at a, at a certain time point, like you can only get so far with your skills and talents with those I need and you need things that you're just not good at and you need to learn those. And for me, it was like, you know, I know how to train, I know how to program, I know how to motivate and push people, but I, you know, what about the back end of things? You know, here we are, I want to continue to see growth in my business. I knew I needed to get more organized. I needed a better structure. Uh, and I needed accountability and, and I needed to revive everything from my website to if I ever thought about doing marketing, you know, uh, I don't, I'm was clueless. And, and those guys really helped out with that. And, but they weren't trying to force me into you do it this way or the highway. They understood what was important to me. And we found ways to balance that out and navigate through that. So they work with where you're at but they improve upon that. So uh, what I mean by that, there's so many people like, for example, uh, like they're not trying to change you. They're just trying to improve you and make the best possible version of you from business and, if, and definitely personal. And just what I really love, uh, I'll add this too, and I get this from the, the, the private page is just, you know, being better like better humans and, and not just from a personal standpoint, from a business standpoint, it's not just about uh, making a sale. It's about uh, really providing a lot of value and they do that and they show you how to do that. So uh, yeah, there you go. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so tell us, tell the audience if, if someone was contemplating working with us, what would be your advice to that person? Ask a lot of questions. Uh, make sure it is a fit for you uh, that aligns with you and your goals and it's the right time. And uh, just be clear on uh, your expectations, their expectations. And uh, just you, this is going to be a long term relationship. And, and so just like any relationship, uh, get to know them. Uh, so everything happens so fast in this time and, and, and heck, like for dating, you get to swipe right for a better relationship. Like, <laughs> like this is like, if you're going to invest, make sure it's worth it and really just take the time. They're there for you and they're open to that. And you'll see that I think from the first conversation you have with them. But uh, that was the thing. I think what Jonathan and I, we talked at least three times I want to say before and it just started out with just you know common bonds and then Mark I uh, actually I think I pursued Mark more than he pursued me just uh just because he, he what he's doing is similar to what I'm doing here in Rochester and I saw him doing it better and why not learn from doing it better uh so so yeah I just keep an open mind uh hear what they have to say and uh ask a lot of questions so that's a that's just good life advice right there yeah. <laughs> for for anything uh, i mean yes i mean i think that's it like you're gonna be better overall with just them it's not just like a quick transaction sale or just a business i think there's so much more value in it and it's hard to put a put a finger on it but there's so much there's so much other stuff that you get and like there's so much stuff that like i'm i'm and I mean, there's, I'm still wanting to dive in and learn more that they provide even on the page and, and, and the content. So anywho, so yeah, I would just, I would just keep an open mind and, uh, and, uh, yeah, they're good dudes. Best in the business. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate yeah. you, man. <laughs> you <know> it's mutual. <laughs> Well, um, again, thank you so much for your time, Justin. We appreciate you greatly as a, as a client, as a friend, as a human being. You know, I, w one thing that, that John and I have definitely put a big focus on in our lives is just being around good people. 
And, you know, regardless of if we're paying those people or those people are paying us or whatever the relationship is, like we just, we just need more good people around. And, you know, I always talk about be the change. And I think you're such a great example of someone who's just truly living the way that you want to see the world live. And, and it's refreshing because there's just, there's far too many people that don't do that anymore and don't make the right things in my you know, opinion of priority. And I think you do a fantastic job of that. So again, you know, thank you, thank you for being you and, uh, and we appreciate it. Yeah, no, I appreciate it too. I think everything, especially now there's so much noise and there's so much stuff out there that can be overwhelming and you don't know what direction to go. So you don't go any direction. You just stand at the, I, I think these guys can really help you guide you in the direction that you're looking for, uh, not what they're looking for, but what you're truly looking for, and then just help make that better. So no problem. I appreciate the kind words. I um, appreciate it. You guys are good. So, yes, sir. so if you are watching this again, I, I keep doing this because there's probably going to be a place for you to click. So if you want some more information on how to work with John or I, um, yep, Justin will point it out to you as well. Uh, we live on Facebook. It's our permanent residence. It's on my driver's license. It just says one, two, three, four, Facebook land. Um, so <laughs> reach out to us. Let us know how we can help you uh, in any aspect of your business or life or whatever it may be. And uh, yeah, we'd love to serve you. Yes, absolutely. Right. Thank you for your time, Justin. Appreciate you, buddy. No problem. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. Make good choices, by the way. Yeah, don't hang up. Thank <laughs> you.